Hi everyone, welcome back to another math lesson. Today, we'll learn how to add and subtract fractions with unlike denominators. Let's get started. When adding or subtracting fractions, the denominators must be the same. If the denominators are different, our first step is to find a common denominator. The easiest way is to use the lowest common multiple, LCM, of the two denominators. The LCM is the smallest number into which the denominators can divide without leaving a remainder. Let's calculate one half plus one quarter. Notice the denominators are different, so our first task is to make both denominators the same. Four is the LCM of two and four. Therefore, we will make both denominators be four. This means we will now need to rewrite the one half fraction and make the denominator be four. We can do this by multiplying the denominator by two. Now remember our lesson on equivalent fractions. Whatever we multiply to the denominator, the same has to be done to the numerator to keep the fraction equivalent. And therefore, we also need to multiply the numerator by two. So one half is now rewritten as two quarters. Now that both denominators are the same, we can finally add the numerators to get our answer. 2 plus 1 is 3. Hence, the solution is 3 quarters. Now let's try 2 thirds minus 3 fifths. Again, the denominators are different. The LCM of 3 and 5 is 15. So, we will make both denominators be 15. For the fraction 2 thirds, we have to multiply the denominator by 5. We also need to multiply the numerator by 5 to keep the fraction equivalent. So 2 thirds is now rewritten as 10 fifteenths. For the fraction 3 fifths, we shall multiply the denominator by 3 and then do the same to the numerator to keep the fraction equivalent. So now 3 fifths is rewritten as 9 fifteenths. Now that both denominators are the same, we can finally subtract numerators to get our answer. 10 minus 9 is 1, so the solution is 1 fifteenth. Now let's try to calculate 1 and 3 fifths, plus 2 and 1 half. First, we can convert both of these mixed fractions to improper fractions. To convert 1 and 3 fifths, we multiply the whole number by the denominator to get 5, then add the numerator of 3 to get 8. So the mixed fraction 1 and 3 fifths, converted to its improper form, is 8 fifths. To convert 2 and 1 half, we multiply the whole number 2 by the denominator 2 to get 4, then add the numerator of 1 to get 5. So the mixed fraction, 2 and 1 half converted to its improper form is 5 halves. The problem is now 8 fifths plus 5 halves. Notice the denominators are different. We will make both denominators 10, since the least common multiple for 5 and 2 is 10. For the fraction 8 fifths, we will multiply both the denominator and numerator by 2. So 8 fifths is now rewritten as its equivalent 16 tenths. For the fraction 5 halves, we will multiply both the denominator and numerator by 5. So 5 halves is now rewritten as its equivalent 25 tenths. Now that both denominators are the same, we can add the numerators to get our answer. 16 plus 25 is 41, so the solution is 41 tenths. Now, 41 divided by 10 is 4, with a remainder of 1. Therefore, 41 tenths can also be expressed as 4 and 1 tenth, if reconverted to mixed fractions. Both are acceptable solutions. Thanks for joining me today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. See you in the next lesson.